I was reading uh, a book, uh, The Fence of Lawn, uh, in praying with God's word. In it, she talks about a friend whose husband uh, had an affair. Uh, she learned that his affair after 25 years of being married. And to make the matter worse, her husband confessed that he was in love with that woman. So she was devastated, not just for a week or a month, but he was devastated. But her husband agreed that not to file for divorce, but not to agree to cease any contact with that woman because he was in love with that woman. What do you do? And this woman, the best friend, cast herself entirely to the world of God and at the feet of Jesus. And she prayed and daily. That was the only way she could survive with such a feeling, such a devastation, such a rejection. And after um, course of four years so we, uh, course of four, after four years being uh, devoted herself, throw herself into the world of God and still living God and commune with the Jesus all the time. Her husband saw her inner strength and beauty and he fell in love with her all over again. And they have a marriage now that they never had before. And their love grows stronger every day toward each other than toward God. I mean, they've been here Christian for 25 years, they were so, 35 years or so. But that took them to realize, both of them, how it important it is to have an intimate relationship with the Almighty God. I'm not insinuating, I'm not suggesting any of you um, to do exactly the same thing and expect exact the same result. The thing is, the point is this, when you are totally communed with God, totally uh, into relationship with uh, your Almighty God, you are totally satisfied in your spiritual hunger, and you have this uh, enormous power, enormous strength in you. Life can throw at you all sorts of things, all sorts of things. But when you have that relationship, you can overcome anything and everything. Amen? Amen. So let us uh, start, let us recognize what is our real hunger. Uh, uh, we are looking to fulfill our life as only God can fulfill it. And stop eating junk food, do not go associate with people who are eating nothing but junk food, and start eating Jesus, start eating the true bread at night. As the year happens for the world. So my soul. Isn't it beautiful? Yes. Isn't it beautiful song today? <coughs> Would you like to sing one more time? Yes. To make the point? <laughs>